Welcome to Stoville, where I'm going to be interviewing some of the members from the Green Party. And look at the ground. It's the middle of April, so try to tell me that there's no more global warming. It's snowing! Hey, we're celebrating Earth Day with David Suzuki, and we're also going to be talking with the leader of the Green Party, Mike Shriners. How are you, Mike? I'm great, James. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Awesome. So, so uh, this is just an amazing thing, how you're doing a thing to mm -hmm. where it's Earth Day every day, and it's just great. So I, I think it's amazing. So tell me a little bit about what that came from. Yeah, well, you know what, James? I grew up on a farm, and my dad told, taught me how to take care of the water and the farmland. And so for me, I want to make every day Earth Day because... I want to take care of the people and places that I love in Ontario and around the world. Yeah. And so one of the things that's really important to me is that we start addressing climate change. And with our economy, we leap into the future and embrace the clean, low-carbon economy today. Cool. So tell me about your kids and when you wanted to be into politics for a very long time and eventually you didn't really like it. So how did your kids get you back into it? Obviously, you must be watching some of the videos about me. So I have two daughters and my wife and my daughters told me, you know, Dad, you keep complaining about politicians not taking things like the environment seriously and you keep talking about how we need to do politics differently to put people first and yeah. so they said you've got to stop complaining about that and get involved in politics and so that's why i started getting involved in politics again and uh, why i joined the green party because it reflects my values and it f is fighting for the future that i want yes. for myself and my kids yes so how does a government or how does a um, environmental government initiative have to do with business? Well, first of all, the jobs of the 21st century are the jobs in the clean economy. And um, are you a hockey fan, James? Yeah. Okay, well, you know, Wayne Gretzky, he, he would skate to where the puck is going, not where it's been. And so that's what I want to do with our economy. I want to skate to where the jobs of the 21st century are right now so we can create jobs to put people and planet first and i've been told that you're an electric car fan is that yes. true well one of the things that i think we absolutely have to do is electrify our transportation system to re reduce greenhouse gas pollution the largest source of greenhouse gas pollution in ontario comes from our transportation sector and so that's why we need more public transit and why we need electric cars and why we need safe streets for cyclists and pedestrians well, that sounds electrifying. So thank you so much for this time to tell me about the business from, uh, from all this and also about how your kids got into it, a bit of history from that. So just thank you, Mike Schreiner, and I, I really appreciate it. So well, thank, thank you, you James. I appreciate all the good work you're doing.